I would like to apologize in advance if you guys see a lot of ads, but please don't skip them because I'm trying to make some money back because I made a mistake that ended up costing my parents a lot of money and I would like to try to give them some of that back. If you guys could please help me out, that would mean a lot to me and I will explain more at the end of the video. Thank you. So I'm currently at my gate right now and we're about to board and I'm going on my college trip and first stop is Boston. I'm currently about to be a senior in school so welcome As a to reminder this. here at Hawaiian Airlines I don't even remember where I left off but um, welcome to the vlog and I'm excited for you to join me as I see the US mainland for the very first time at least these cities I've never been to Boston in my life and all the other stuff I'm going to so I'm so excited you guys are experiencing this first time first hand with me I can't even talk but enjoy the vlog got all the stuff so <laughs> You're going. We just got to the airport. I'm coming with you, bro. You just don't know that. I'll see you. Thanks, baby. Right. So, hey. U.S. mainland. Everyone that I know from the mainland is always confused what exactly the mainland is, but that means the continental USA, which is basically the 48 states, excluding Hawaii and Alaska. Okay. So this is our. I'm your dad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first family vacation with me and my parents both together for the first time in since sixth grade, and I am going to twelfth grade. So it's been like six years. Into Big Island. Oh, oh, eighth grade then. Yeah. Oh. oh, I think in eighth grade we went to the Big Island together. So yeah, we are now in the longest line that I've ever been in at the airport and it stretches for realistically actually half a mile and for all the sun so really swag really cool so we just got through TSA we always managed to have problems going through TSA but luckily nothing was my problem this time but uh, uh, my dad had like a pocket knife and then my mom had water in her bottle still so <laughs> that had to go bye bye but now we're in and we are ready to go agriculture got a lot of fruit what's up Happy. So we just got to our gate and we went to the bathroom and now we're just waiting to get called. Are you excited, Mom? Yeah. We are now on the airplane and we're seated and ready to go. If you've been here since like 100 subscribers and you were here when I flew by myself in August, all those travel vlogs, then you remember that I had a horrible time sitting in the window seat because I always need to pee and my bladder's small and then I would just have to tell the person next to me to move so I could go and it was just a disaster. So I prefer sitting here a lot. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> mommy By the way, we are on a 10 hour flight. So exciting. Cool. At least they gave us these blanket things, but uh, I forgot my neck thing, and I do have a bit of a neck and back problem, but what can you do? Okay, so I'm going to be here, and I'm going to do a voiceover because I don't think anyone wants to hear the plain background sound. That's really annoying. So here I was so surprised and excited that we were actually going to be served two meals on our airplane flight because usually American flying airlines don't give you any food and only Asian ones do. And then I watched Avengers for the first time actually and don't get mad because yeah I did watch Endgame but um, I didn't watch the Avengers before that so like the first one I mean so I'm kind of fake and uh... Yeah, we're gonna fix, we fixed that though, so you know, you can just work on changing and getting better from the self you were in the past. And then I saw that my dad was eating mac salad and I was like, Ugh, because um, I was gonna consider trying it, but then I saw that there was lettuce and my entire demeanor just changed because lettuce is gross. That's so bad. And it literally has no nutrients, guys. Lettuce has no nutrients. Don't eat it with your dressing. It's not helping you be healthy. 
And here are some beautiful views. F those that don't like spam. So then I basically just talked for a while how I'm really, really excited to be going to Boston on the first leg of my trip. And I'm going to all these cities that I've never been to on the U.S. and going to the East Coast for the first time and all that jazz. And I was just really stoked and I'm just so excited. Because I do love Hawaii, but life is really slow there, and I just feel like I'm not that type of person who, like, I'm not allowed to go to the beach, so, I mean, there's not really much to do in Hawaii besides that. So, we're waiting at baggage claim now. It's taking a really long time, but it's okay. We're not in a hurry. It's literally 6 a.m. in the morning, so there's not that much to do right now. Um, we tried to call the hotel because we need to, like, put our stuff down, because obviously we're not carrying around our suitcases throughout the day but they're not answering so I think we're gonna just show up and try to drop off our stuff there but it's like a really small like inn so now that I'm thinking about it we should have gotten like a big hotel because I know they definitely let you drop your stuff off but I don't know about this one so uh, we'll see so for my outfit I am wearing this white jacket and then green sweats and my Nike Air Force ones jesters and then yeah I wear this outfit in Hawaii and it is way colder here so probably gonna have to change or put more on or something. We're in Boston! It's 50 degrees and it's so cold. I feel the chilliness and my skin is starting to peel already and uh oh. Happy summer! So we're getting our lift now. And I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been stuck in my head since David Dobrik's vlog from two days ago or something. So this is our inn. We woke up the housekeeper, as a manager. She was very nice and gracious and let us drop our stuff off and now we're just outside eating for a little bit. I literally, I wore this jacket in Hawaii but now I finally don't look ridiculous. I'm just wearing a black turtleneck and some jewelry on. Belt, jeans, and white shoes. Yeah, there's a lot of brick. A lot of brick houses. Oh look at this, this is so cute! So I'm noticing that a lot of people here walk around which is cool and a lot of the kids are going to school right now so they're all like riding their scooters or they're walking and it's so cute yeah the tea is literally filled right now with people so we're just gonna walk mom there's a dog coming my mom is really scared of dogs <laughs> Pokeball, that's actually hilarious. So I got a spinach feta wrap and a caramel macchiato heated. This is my first time trying it heated. So we just got into the reception center for BU and I think we're just waiting here to go on our tour. our Boston University information session and tour. What did you think of it? <laughs> Nobody Very responded. In the information. Yeah, I think yeah, it was like really that. good. Yeah, lots of information. Really, really. My friend who, Where so I met I? my friend at school who <laughs> has been to like several college tours already and she said this one was the best one so far so this was my first one so I think we have very high expectations for the next one which is at 2 30 and we're gonna see Northeastern next but first we're gonna go get some food even though I'm not totally hungry I think being on the airplane just kind of messed with like me in general and I keep burping because I have bloating so love that here we are on Newbury Street and this is Urban and then Brandy's over there and there's Uniqlo, Starbucks, but like just a lot of shopping here. But we're gonna go to TJ Maxx first to go use the restroom. Another thing I've noticed here is that people just walk, like they just 
go even when it's red and if the locals are walking then we just go too. <laughs> my pad thai that ended up being way bigger than I expected. It's like humongous. And we have fun. We're not eating anything very Chicago, I mean Boston right now. I'm done eating but I still have so much left over and I feel really bad but it was only $10 and I was expecting a lot less. Hi mom. Can you turn around? <laughs> okay hold on you're gonna trip. So we just made it to Northeastern. I look really extra right now, just don't mind me. These glasses are a, a lot, but they cover my face so I don't burn as much, which is good. <laughs> We're FaceTiming my brother. Here we are at the park. Just kidding, it's just the center. Well, here we are at Northeastern. My dad just kept, he kept sleeping the whole time during the interview, but now we're on the tour and he has to be awake because I mean we're walking. So, here we are outside again. We had, we had the biggest problems because we checked into our hotel and turns out that the room was only one double bed. The room, it was called a double bed, so we thought that means there's two beds. But then in the printout, it said one standard, one full bed. So doesn't that sound like there's two beds because there's one full one and one standard one? Apparently, according to them, that wasn't the case and they couldn't do anything about it because they didn't have any other rooms. So we have to just live there in a puny little bed for tonight because we couldn't get another one and it was just a lot of a mess and then I accidentally booked another hotel for tomorrow and the day after but I booked it for July and no refunds but we called and we got it but it was so stressful my stomach hurts now from like anxiety but um good thing things worked out and my parents are so like supportive throughout the whole thing like they were just being so nice about it and they're like it's not your fault and like stuff while they were calling and I was freaking out but whew, thank god that we got our stuff together and shout out to my girl April at Travelocity for helping us I'm just so relieved and this was definitely definitely a plot twist and we were not expecting this at all and just I can only thank god that we figured it out and we have to stay at a really expensive hotel now it was like a thousand dollars for two nights um we never do stuff like that but we had to because there were no other hotels left the other ones you have to like drive an hour into the city and like we're only here for two more days so i think that's it but we're gonna go get dinner now and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to forget about it. Raider Joe's. We don't have one in Hawaii, so this is really exciting. This is my second time ever in a Trader Joe's. Another Asian restaurant tonight. <laughs> Hi, so thanks for making it to the end of my video. So what's kind of funny is that I'm actually editing this on the very last of my trip. I'm about to head back home to Hawaii, but I'm editing this right now of the first day of my trip, which is, I don't know, I just find like stuff like that interesting. I don't know why, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for making it to the end. I It was pretty all over the place. Sorry about the audio. It's kind of annoying because you can hear all these like background sounds of like the city and or the airplane and I know it's annoying but I'm sorry I'm just I need to get a mic but at the same time I really don't want to have to hold it because that's just like another thing that I might drop or you know like it makes it bulkier so it's more likely for me to just mess it up and yeah but thanks for watching make sure you follow my Instagram if you want to see my really cute pictures from the trip because I have a whole lot more to come bye I love you daddy what are you eating Apple. Yellow apple. Why is it yellow? That's a brand.
Hey. Do you like it? Yeah. Tastes better than the other one? Yeah, better than Fuji. <laughs> Mega. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was young, I ate this kind of apple. 